Hey guys, what's up? Shin055, and I am back with another How to Draw video. Um, today's video is drawing Ice Sonic. Uh, he's just kind of like a made-up character. No, uh, no real canon origins or from a story from anything. It's just Ice Sonic. Uh, basically, I just gave him like little uh, ice tip spikes and a uh, little like fur where like the cuff parts of his gloves and like socks are. And he's on ice skates. That's pretty much the only difference. He's standing on ice, if you were wondering. So I'd imagine like anything he t like his feet touch automatically turn to ice. I don't know. That's why I gave him ice skates. Anyway, uh, this video was requested by Angry Sonic Lover. Thank you very much for your request. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And again, this one, this isn't a very hard, hard one. Again, it's basically just drawing Sonic. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, get your pencils ready and, uh, let's begin. Alright guys, so to start out drawing Ice Sonic, um, like most all of the pictures we draw, we are going to draw a big circle. Um, this is going to be his head, so make it, a, make it a decent size, you know. Again, we don't have to follow it completely, but making it nice and big does help. Like that, you can draw the crosshairs for the eyes. Um, if you want, it'd be something like this. And then his body gesture is basically a line that goes down and then straight across, kind of like this. And the one about there, his arm would be like this. And they have another hand going up like that. And you want to do a little bit more of a detailed gesture, kind of like a... Like a bean type shape. Like here, and then it goes straight down for the leg, and it goes up and curves in, and then down a little bit, something like that. So you get like a little, little kind of bean type shape, and then an arm will be here, and will be over here, and then go down and over. The hand will be somewhere about here, and his feet will be, you know, down here. Again, we won't go too far into detail, but that's good enough for a gesture right now. So, let's jump into his face. I'll zoom in a little bit. And, uh, again, uh, I have a whole video on how to draw Sonic's face, so I won't go too into detail. But you start off with kind of like this C-type shape. And then you go up and over. Then draw a line going down. And you get kind of like this M-type shape you get going here. Like that. And then you draw a line going down and up where the nose is, and then back down. This is going to be his muzzle. And then just a big... You just kind of round it off at the bottom here. And you draw a little curve line here to show like the roundness of his head. And then you draw on his nose, which is just a curve line, and then just kind of loops around. A little curve line here. Again, kind of the muzzle kind of made it. They could shade all that in black. And then for his eyes, just two big U's. One there. One here. And then another U shape. But this one, you kind of put like a little half circle in there. Like that. Same thing over here. U shape, little half circle. Shade that in. There you go. And for a smile, it's just kind of like a straight line going across, a little gap, and then curve it up, and a little arrow at the end of it, like that. And now, um, his eyebrows just kind of follow his eye shape, they just kind of go off here, and curve down and in. This one goes around, curves down, and a little bit in, like that. And now for his spikes, I'll zoom out a little bit just so I make sure I get everything. Uh, they basically just go off the eyebrow. And you just kind of keep going out until you get like a good curve going on. That's about good. About right there. I don't know, make it as, you know, you just do a big curve that goes off of the eyebrow. And then you bring it back in once. And then you get twice. And then three times. 
like that. And then for the ears, you're going to draw a curve line that goes up like this. And then it goes down and out a little bit. Actually, that is way too high up for that ear. His ear should be about here. So you start about here and draw a curve line going up. And then curve down and in. And then from this little center here, you're going to draw a curve line going down. And then from this angle, you draw a curve line going in like that. That's one ear. And now his other ear. It's pretty much the same shape. You basically just draw this big triangle with uh, no bottom. And then you draw a triangle with a bottom. And then from this angle, you draw a curve line to that. All right. And now, and again, just for ice sonic, uh, I just kind of give them like little ice tips. So you just draw jagged lines going off the edge of the spikes here. Like that. Again, I'm assuming they're like white. And maybe Sonic is like a lighter shade of blue. Again, you kind of make up your own colors if you want to. So now we're going to draw in the body, which I noticed the body is kind of off from uh, our uh, gesture. That's the word I'm looking for. So I'm going to kind of redraw it. Kind of go down and in. That'd be one leg. It's the first spike, and it kind of goes down and over. Look at that. This is the good line. And again, this is kind of how you use the gesture. It's just, you use it to just kind of get an idea of where everything should go. You don't have to follow it exactly. So again, when you're drawing, it's good to just map out some stuff. So basically, just kind of fine-tune the gesture right here. Uh, we can draw in little uh, curve lines on the ends for his feet. We'll get into that in a second. But I'm going to just jump in and draw his stomach, which is basically this big kind of... It's kind of like a circle almost, but then it kind of goes in a little bit and over. Like that. And then um, now I can jump into his feet. Um, which you basically start with curve lines, and then what you do is you kind of draw like this oval, kind of like that. But then you just kind of draw like little jagged spikes at the end of it, kind of uh, kind of like fur on like, you know, like a winter coat or something. Like that. And then we're going to draw in a shoe shape, which looks something kind of like this. just refine it a little bit better and I like that that's coming out um let's try it one more time kind of go down and in and yeah you just kind of make a shoe shape like that and then um what you could do is the strap he has which is a curve line going down here and then draw a little curve line that goes up here and then wraps around and that's one strap. And then you draw the sole of the shoe, which basically is just a little rectangle that follows the shoe shape on the bottom, like that. And then for the ice skates, I just draw this little kind of curve right here. And then be another one right here, like that. And then a curve line that connects those two. And then another little curve line that goes up and around like this. So that's one ice skate. And now we're going to kind of do the same thing uh, for the other foot where it's kind of like oval. And then just kind of jagged spikes off of it. Like that. Uh, but th this foot's actually head on. Like we're looking like right at it. So what I like doing is drawing like a little oval right here. And then drawing a little curve line that goes up like this. Another little curve line that goes up and in for the shoe. Like that. And then the sole of the shoe will be a little rectangle on the bottom here. And then what you get for the ice skate is basically this kind of diamond type shape. But it has like... So you basically just draw this little V. And then another little V on the bottom here. But it's kind of rounded on the bottom. You don't have to make it too pointed. So it'll like that. And then a straight line that goes down the middle. 
and that's how you draw that ice skate. And you can draw the little um, strap, which is just a line going across, a little curve line going out a little bit. And you want to make the strap go a little bit past the shoe, just because it goes around it. So something like that. And then, um, you know, we can jump into his arms. Which, this arm, uh, it's actually pretty easy. You just start about here. This kind of goes down and over. And then there'd be a, cur a line going straight and kind of curves into the elbow here. And then a line going up. And then you just get the kind of jagged, spiky shape thing that we did for like his socks. Like that. And then just a little curve line here and a little curve line here. Show like he has like a closed fist. Again, very simple. Keep it nice, simple, and basic. And now, uh, just to finish off his other hand, um, it's gonna be about here. So we're gonna kinda draw in like this little rounded square, almost like a circle. Like that. And then we're going to draw two fingers. So you basically just draw a line going straight up. Round it off. It goes down and then up. It's kind of giving a little peace sign. Like that. And then a big oval here. And then another big oval off that one. Like that. And then the thumb is just kind of like about like this is the fatty part of the thumb it's kind of curves in like this down and in and draw another little curve line here it's one part and then a little bump here for um it goes in a little bit just for like his palm and it's kind of Darken in some lines, make it a little bit clearer. That, and then you draw a little curve line here and here, just to show the um, fingers bending. And you get little spikes out here for the kind of fabricy part of the glove. And you get a curve line going over like this, and then a little curve line here. Actually, it's a little high. Yeah, it'd be about here. Like that. And now let's just draw on his tail, which is just a little spike. And again, you do a little jagged lines for like the ice tip. And just to finish it off, uh, we draw a little ice on the bottom of his feet, which is pretty simple. It's just kind of like this kind of jaggedy. Um, shape. It kind of kind of be in the shape of a shadow. It was standing under Sonic. And draw little little jaggedy shapes outside. Just show it. It's kind of it's kind of spreading a little bit. Because again, I imagine Ice Sonic with ice skates and everything like his ice skates touch, just kind of automatically turn to ice. You know, kind of like that one Mario power-up in Galaxy, or the, the Frozen Flower, I think that's what it's called. So once you get the shape in, um, we're going to draw a little light reflection, which is basically just a straight line going down, curve over a little bit, and then down again. And the same thing here, but the shoe kind of covers it. And again, another little light reflection. Because again, it's ice, and it kind of acts like glass a little bit. So you kind of like a shape like that. But overall, that's pretty much all there is to drawing Ice Sonic. Uh, yeah, again, there's no real official, official uh, thing of what Ice Sonic looks like. So this is just my my take on it. Um, but overall, yeah, I, I like it. I like how it came out. So um, if you want a more uh, inked version uh, with all like the guidelines erased, I will put that one right here. Um, try to get both of them in the shot. Actually, I have more room if I go this way. There we go. So yeah, that, that's kind of what it looks like after you like uh, do an ink outline and erase all the pencil line. Uh, so it'll come out looking something like that. 
So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy Ice Sonic now. And, uh, again, thank you very much, uh, Angry Sonic Lover. Thank you very much for your request. And if you have a, uh, if you guys have any requests, uh, the way they work is you leave your name. Well, excuse me, I had a burp. Uh, if you leave your name, uh, or not even your name, just leave your request in the comment section below. I take your name and what you requested, put it on my how to draw list, and then on Sunday when I make how to draw videos, I randomly pick one off the list. There's no rhyme or reason, it's just whatever I feel like drawing that day. So there's no, like, time frame or whatever, it's just kind of random, whatever I feel. So, um, yeah. Uh, and you can follow me on DeviantArt, Twitch, Twitter, like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. You guys know what to do. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and this is going up on Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, uh, for 2017. Again, if you're watching this, like, a year from now, this won't matter. But this is, this is going up on Christmas Eve. So anyway, I hope, guys, hope you enjoy your Christmas. Um, happy holidays, all that good stuff. So, um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.